Hi, my name is Rachel Weissman, and I will be presenting my semester-long project titled Shark Sweeper, Playful Cleaning Solutions for Kids. Amidst the pandemic, kids are becoming more aware of the importance of keeping a clean space and practicing good hygiene. Behavior changes like mask wearing, increased hand washing, and general cleaning have become daily actions in a child's life. Adjusting to quarantine and social distancing has proven to impact all lives, but it has left the strongest impression on the lives of children. Parents and schools are emphasizing the importance of practicing healthy habits and what it means to be a responsible and respectful member of society. With these actions becoming more frequent, I propose the questions, how do we get kids to willingly engage in these positive habits and how can it both be fun and effective? My solution to this problem is the shark sweeper, who I named Sherman, who helps collect your crayons after a vibrant day of coloring. This solution is simple, effective, compact, engaging, and adorable to say the least. I feel strongly that this object will accomplish the objective of teaching cleanliness as kids most willingly engage in cleaning through toys and play objects. So beginning my research, through surveys, interviews, and online forums, I started by asking parents about their child's current attitude towards cleaning. I was surprised to learn that many young children like to engage in cleaning and take pride and ownership over their own personal cleaning objects and toys. You can see here that this little one is more than willing to help mom with cleaning, as she has set an excellent example for him in practicing cleaning habits in the home. I continued to research perspectives, but shifted to parents and teachers who are essentially the stakeholders in the lives of kids. When asked about certain pet peeves in regards to cleaning with kids, I found that most parents and teachers are experiencing some sort of frustration or difficulty. Currently in local public schools, there is less sharing of toys and writing utensils because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, teachers claim they are most often cleaning up writing utensils after their students ages 5 through 12. When asked about current cleaning toys, the most common response I received was, it would be great if it actually worked. While toys are a great way for kids to learn and engage in play, adults are tired of the messes their kids' toys make. Parents and teachers are constantly accumulating and organizing toys. A new toy usually means a new mess to clean up. So when it came to writing my design brief, it was clear to me that my goal was to design a playful object or toy that functions as a cleaning device while also teaching kids the importance of cleanliness. Not only will it be a fun toy for children to play with, but it would also be loved by adults because it keeps kids occupied while they conduct a successful cleanup. Cleaning is no longer a chore for anyone. Moving into my design development, I began by exploring several concepts related to disinfection and home cleanliness. It was here that I first embraced my form containing some sort of face. The idea that you needed to help feed the monster or robot added an extra playful quality. This led me to my next concept, Gary Garbage, who is a trash can puppet. His mouth opens as would a typical foot pedal trash bin, except his pedal was moved to the rear. This prototype was constructed from a cardboard box, one chopstick, some tape, and ping pong balls. Gary was a hit with his user audience. However, the parent of my little tester was concerned she would start feeding random garbage cans. While my target audience is kids, my desire to appeal to the adult audience fell short in this design. I began to consider other actions involved in cleaning the home that are most effective, so began my exploration of sweepers and picker-uppers. All the examples shown here were proven to be effective cleaning solutions when I personally tested them. Additionally, each of these items had a satisfying user experience thanks to their successful functionality and playful nature. It was these qualities that allowed me to establish my desired design criteria and further solidify my goals when it came to designing my solution. My first concept was a monster that doubled as a vacuum sweeper at the base and a hollow trash container in the upper section. The idea was that the child can push around the trash monster throughout the space while also helping clean the floor. I liked this idea for cleaning up different sized things, however it was not ideal for tabletop or desk setting as it was large in size. This led me to my next iteration. 
The Pencil Sweeper. Here, I completely eliminated the trash can aspect and chose to concentrate solely on the sweeper mechanism. I also began to focus on a specific object to be swept up, pencils. The object teacher said is always being left around the classroom. Sweeping up pencils proved to be more difficult than I anticipated. The shape and size of a standard pencil makes for a large design object and was limiting the functionality of the sweeper. That's when I decided to shift to a different writing utensil and had a more successful encounter with crayons. And thus, my crayon creature was born, and we meet Sherman the Shark Sweeper. This final design is desirable for many reasons. Its small size fits comfortably in a child's hand and allows it to be used on tabletops and desks. Sherman has rounded soft edges and requires no batteries to function. Most importantly, he makes what would be a dull task a little more vibrant. The user sequence involves placing your hand on the shark's fin and rolling it across the messy area. The crayons will sweep into Sherman's goofy mouth and can then be collected from his tail tray. Sherman's body and wheels are made from 3D printed PLA plastic and the sweeper and wheel treads are printed in TPU, a more flexible material. The small quantity of parts makes for a quick and easy assembly. In my professional experience, I've often heard that many schools or teaching facilities have 3D printers, but no one to operate and teach them. This is currently the case at the Cross Island YMCA in Queens. I'd like to propose the Shark Sweeper as a project and lesson plan to introduce students and teachers to the world of 3D printing, while also implementing a successful cleaning solution to the classroom. This will give students a sense of ownership when they print their own projects, as they can customize their sweeper with different colors and other design elements. By creating and building the Shark Sweeper in the classroom, it gives kids a sense of ownership. Sherman the Shark was well received by his target audience, which was so great to see. Through one of my users, I realized that I could implement strategies and games to the Shark Sweeper, as she suggested we sweep up crayons by color and that different colors can be different flavors of food. I intend to continue testing this product with older kids as well, in the age range of 6 through 10, to gain further insight. Some parents and teachers raised the point that different sizes and creatures would be beneficial as well, in order to add more personalization and to accommodate writing utensils of varying sizes. Thank you.